Hello everyone, I'm Nana Chabra with my IELTS tutor. This is chapter 7 of IELTS writing module. In this chapter, we are going to understand some tips about writing task 2. How we need to boost our uh, bands in writing task 2. We have already understood a lot about the marking criteria. But now we need to follow some tips. While writing your task, task likhte time, your tips ko, you have to keep in mind so that you can approach your task in particular manner or in the correct way. Now, tip number one is to understand the question. Understanding the question is very important. Students kya karte hain? They read the question, take the basic information and start writing their thoughts or start writing their ideas. We are not required to do that in your writing. We need to understand in the best manner ki question ki specifications kya hai. Uske according ki apne, humne apne task mein reply karna hai, respond karna hai. Tip number two is plan your work. Why we don't plan our work before writing an essay? If we have a good planning, agar humne achche se har cheez plan kari hai, rough work banaya hai, what will happen? It will be very easy for us to write our essay in a very smooth and structured way. Tip number three is using correct grammar. In IELTS writing, most of the students face problem because they don't have good command over their grammatical skills. You need to understand the basic skills or rules of grammar and you have to improve it by implementing or by practicing grammar every day for which you can read different articles, you can write different sentences. Tip number four is using structures. You have to use variety of structures in your writing task to score more in writing module. We'll be talking about different structures in upcoming videos. But yes, you should be aware about what are the different types of structures which we can add in our writing. And this will not only help you to improve your writing task but also your speaking task. Tip number five is writing a clear introduction. Now, most I've seen most of the students starting their introduction with education plays an indispensable role in everyone's life. Computer plays an indispensable role in everyone's life. School are the schools are the temples where students go for uh, their education. Don't start your introduction by these phrases. Simple introduction is a paragraph in which you introduce your topic and give your answer. Your introduction should be very clear, precise and it should give clarity about what the topic is and what is your answer. Tip number six is understanding your weak areas. When you will pra practice writing writing task two, you will understand that some areas in your writing are your weak areas. You have to recognize them. Recognizing them is very important and how you will recognize you yourself cannot recognize it. You need a proper guidance and instruction for it. On recognizing it or if you recognize it also, how to improve it, you need someone to guide you for that. So, uh, you need to recognize your weak areas and you have to work on the improvement of the weak area as per the marking criteria. How examiner want us to do, how examiner want us to work on our weak areas, we have to improve it in that manner, right? So, it's not like you are recognizing your weak area, working on your own and implementing things on your own. Because I have seen students with good command in the English, still they are not able to score in writing task. Why? Because it is a test. It has a certain format. It has certain requirements. And we need to fulfill that. The next step is using good paragraphing. Your essay should have sufficient and good paragraphs. Right? The number of paragraphs, it should be 4 to 5 paragraphs in your essay in well-structured manner. How you paragraph your essay, how you uh, arrange your essay in good paragraphs, it actually matters. It creates a flow in your writing. Next step is that you have to be coherent. Coherent means all the ideas, all the information, all the paragraphs should be logically arranged. Ek achhe sequence mein arrange hona chahiye. Hum agar day to day bhi baat kare, if we talk uh, in a day to day basis, हम अपनी स्पीच को अपनी बातों को भी एक अरेंजमेंट में रख के बोलते हैं अगर कोई बात अनअरेंज्ड होगी वो हमें समझ नहीं आएगी सिमिलरली हम अपने आइडियाज को अरेंज करके प्रेजेंट करेंगे दिस इज द रीजन प्लानिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट Tip number seven is using transitional phrases. Transitional phrases actually help you to uh, create a flow in your writing. They are actually indicating language or they are referencing to particular thing. There are different transitional phrases for different uh, you know situations, for emphasizing, for giving a reason, for adding more information. So there are different transitional phrases which of course we have covered in upcoming videos and we will be understanding it in detail. 
Tip number eight is using good vocabulary. We have to use good vocabulary in IELTS. We have to use vocabulary which is related to the topic and we should be aware about using different words for different situations. Now, in vocabulary also, students tend to make particular errors or particular mistakes. We, we have a chapter in which we'll be talking about vocabulary and how we can memorize or use words naturally. You are required to use vocabulary in very natural way. And good words rather than using fancy and complicated words. Tip number nine is revise your work. Revision is very important in your writing task. Your, when you revise your work, you actually can rectify the errors which you made inadvertently. Likhte likhte hum kuch errors kar dete hai, kuch mistakes kar dete hai, jo hume khud ko nahi pata hota. Jab hum revision karte hai, last ke two minutes ya three minutes mein, hum wo grammatical mistakes ya words ki spelling mistakes ko improve kar sakte hai. It gives us chance to improve these mistakes. Yes, of course, we cannot make major changes in the end, but revision actually helps you to save at least 0.5 band and I believe it and I've seen it. I'm talking this because I've seen students doing it. So in upcoming videos, we'll be talking more about writing task too. Thank you so much. I hope you are enjoying the videos.